What is up guys, I'm Creeper here and in today's video we are going to be doing another tutorial on how to make a end screen in Photoshop CS6 I believe. Uh, if I uh, pronounce it wrong, uh, please forget about it. But in this tutorial I am actually going to show you uh, how to make an end screen. Uh, as you guys know, I, I made a uh t -t 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 a video uh, of a tutorial the last time which i think it went pretty well but if it didn't well my bad <laughs> and here it is so i named it my new outro for no reason okay so this were uh, this is what we're going to be making so we are going to actually making uh like an end screen which pretty much all of you uh called a outro or stuff like that so the first thing you guys want to do is open up your favorite browser for me it's google chrome or e um or microsoft edge but yeah and just start, search up an image uh doesn't matter which one so i already have this one so what i'm going to do it's uh get this image right here which i will download and then um open it up in photos click new then open it make sure it's 1280 by 720 Otherwise, you're going to get uh, something different. So now you have to have it as transparent. Or if you want a color, it doesn't matter. Uh, so let it just open. And if you don't know how to get this, you just go to view. And then a new guide. And you just type in a 50%. Like that. And then just click OK. And it will actually uh, appear a line in the middle. So that's what we're going to do um, later on. So anyways, I have the image right here, which I just need to pop in, and it, there you go, it's pretty easy, so I have to uh, hold shift, I'm gonna do a little bit more out, and just click the check mark up here, and there you go, it's pretty cool, it seems good, but if it doesn't, you have this black lines with white, just hit control, uh, T I believe, and yeah, kind of like move it down, hit shift, and go down a little, same as for the corner right here. Okay, not that much. Not that much. Here should be good. There you go. Yeah, that's good. I mean, for me it is. So yeah. So just click on the check mark one more time. And as you guys will see, we have the little image right here. So what you guys want to do is go and open uh a, a rectangular tool thing that they have there but before we do this we have to go into the uh, fill and stroke make sure your stroke is in cancel so we don't want any stroke and if you guys want a pretty cool color right here uh, you can actually do it but for now we're gonna just choose white because we are gonna put some outline right here so just click on it and make a box but before you do that you have to go to view and now we can put the new guide here. So remember the step that I mentioned before. Now we have to do and click OK or Enter. Doesn't matter. And as you guys will see, a, a line just pops in. So it's like your guideline in the middle. So what you have to do now in order to do this is click on here and make sure to go. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Click on the line and trying to bring it over in the middle so yeah it's actually pretty good so now we can actually draw or square or box right here so i'm just gonna draw like here like so and then like put it a little bit down uh, here i believe uh, it doesn't have to be exactly at the, at the same line right here if you want to or not but yeah anyways once you do that you have to duplicate the layer and make it and just put a rectangle two and click ok then you want to move it uh with your uh, get keys or you just want to drag it over to the side and make it as well right there so that's pretty much it we have to do here now the extra step that you have to do in order to actually like make it look cool 
or anything like that you just want to right click it and blending options and it should take you to a little box right here which I have so remember this is here and to order to do the same uh, stroking and stuff like that you have to click the other layer but for now we're doing this one and if you guys want to add a stroke we're just gonna mainly focus on like in five or a six yeah a six so it should be good so for me it looks good like that uh, I don't know why but let's just add like a little um, effect that is like actually floating so we're gonna go to drop shadow right here and then uh, put it 100% distance I don't know but I will actually choose another color like a little gray so or little yeah a little gray why not so now we have to put the distance between them it actually looks weird but I am choosing another color definitely so if I choose like this one yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter which one you just chose. You chose white, it will actually show you nothing because it's actually white. So it can be white, so depends on the color you want to. I don't know, like this one maybe. I don't know, it's kind of like some highlighted right there. And depends on the stroke that you actually put. If I put uh, the color red, you're going to see this. So... Yeah, definitely we want to add uh, like a cool color right there. But for now, for this uh, tutorial, we're just going to do this. And once you're done, you just click OK. And if you guys want to do the same thing for the other one, you're just going to head down to the rectangle one. And then do, uh, right click and then blending options one more time. Bring it over to the side. Then go to stroke and put the number that we had put before, which was six. And as you guys can see right here, oh, my bad. Uh, so now we have to put the, the the drop shadow so we're gonna click on it 100% and remember if you guys want the same color you just click on the box right here bring that over and we are going to select the color that we have chosen so here it is and uh, I believe that's not good so uh, I don't know why it happened that I mean I actually didn't but the color that I was gonna choose, I believe. So I'm gonna try that and put it all the way high here, right here. And now I have to go a little bit like so. Yeah, why not? It's kind of the same. I kind of don't like see what's the difference. So I'm just gonna double click it and see which it was 24. So if I wanted 24, I just go here shortcut just put it uh, click there double click drop shadow and it will actually bring it to the drop shadow which was 24 so click 24 right here and boom you're done so now we have this cool effect right here which is pretty um, cool i will say but we have to put some letters in here so we, we're gonna we want to head up to the text box and make sure you got a cool font if you don't know how to get fonts you just uh do this so type in the font.com it's a pretty good website which you can find free fonts for amazing stuff right here as you guys can see we got pretty awesome ones but for now I already installed one if you don't know how to install it um, I will show you right now so you go here let's just say we want I don't know this one just click download and it will actually download really fast depends on your internet open it and then it will show you this so click on this one the first one double click it and then it will show you like all of them and then just click install for me it will put me my password which i have to put it all the time and now it should automatically install one by one or fonts so now it's installed so we can close that up and go here then as you guys can see we have what was i forgot it was the promo by I don't know but like we just search it up promo as you guys can see right here so if I click on it and I manage to actually put I don't know thanks oops for watching and then control a and then select it and put like a white color right here you guys are gonna, are gonna notice that then 
uh, that's a funky one, so I don't know. Uh, if you want to make it bigger, you just, uh, well, my bad, click in the actual test again, control A. If you're gonna, if you guys want it like a little bigger, you know, and go to layers. For me, I have it so here. So now, double, uh, right click it, blending options. And let's add a little stroke right here, and I put let's just put a six. There you go, that looks better. Then we can put like a, I don't know, like a kind of green one going out. Yeah, but like let's put this thing a little bit more now. Yeah, I should say that I want. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. And if you guys want to add some icons, I don't know, you can just go and search up uh, Facebook. Just click that, and go to images and just click the icon that you guys want. I don't know. Let's just say this one. Then go. Make sure it's transparent, by the way. But that one does not look good. So this one is pretty good. So view image, which we'll take here and save the image. Uh, so yeah, that's all you have to do, then go here, and I'm pretty sure I have to do some extra steps. Here, move it, downloads, there we go. Now we have to open the file again, place, go down, as you guys can see the logo right here. Then hit shift and go drag it all the way here, and it's kind of laggy, and I apologize. And then, like, just click in here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Something like that. And then, like, if you guys, like, want to put, like, I don't know, a subscribe button or or a Twitter icon, again, just, like, search whatever you guys want. Like, I don't know. Depends on what you like or what you, uh, like, need or stuff like that. That's, that's up to you, like. That's pretty much up to you. So for me, I'm, I don't know. And that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I, I should just choose. Oh, this one in the bottom. There you go. It's pretty small. Even though it's transparent. Well, I'm just going to get it for no pure reason. Like for this tutorial. So now I'll save image. There we go. And I have to do another extra step right here again. Okay, there you go. Let's copy it right there and let's open it again and as I said before you can just decorate it however you want but yeah so here it is told you it was gonna be kind of transparent right here so we got a little icon right here hit shift and make it a little bit smaller I know this is small make it bigger there we go you know I like make it make it look cool so uh, I don't know, depends on how you guys like want it. And let's just put thanks for watching, Bob, with another uh, another uh, font. So let's go a little bit more up and go down. Mm, I like the Minecraft one that I have here. Uh, the. Mm. I don't know, just choose the one that you guys want. Uh, it does not matter which one has to be, I don't know, like a Tokyo sample. Or I put, like, don't forget, oh, what am I even? <laughs> forget to subscribe. There you go. And that's kind of weird. So just hit Control A. Let's make it this 36 or I don't know 48. That should be good. There you go. So let's just make a little space right here. Yeah, that, that should be good. I mean, doesn't matter. So we have this cool effect right here, which uh, I don't know. Let's give it a stroke or yeah, let's give it a stroke, but this time. Uh, Let's just leave it in black color, so it, it looks like that. So yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good, I should say. So the last thing you have to do 
it's just click file and save it uh, to your actual desktop or whatever so I am just gonna name this one uh, and screen 2 now before you do anything else you have to click in the Photoshop uh, icon right here and save it as a PNG so you're gonna save it right here so it doesn't matter which one you go on fast slow they're all the same so now we can just close Photoshop again and we can just click that and uh, there you go guys that's pretty much what you have to do to make an end screen uh, if we double click it and open it you guys are gonna actually see this so uh, let's just load for a minute uh, shouldn't take that long I don't know why Where is it the file that I didn't even open it right? There you guys, there you guys have it. Oh my bad. See, uh, there it is. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and the little icon with the boxes. Now, if you want to put it in YouTube and actually put a stuff like your videos or stuff like that, pretty much what you have to do is when you have when you guys have like your video already uploaded, stuff like that, you only have to go. And first upload it, then edit it. But once uh, it's uploaded and edited, uh, you have to click and edit the video. So I am going to go to one of my videos right here. So this is gonna my channel. And as you guys see, you can see this one. So uh, I go to my video manager. Then I have to see which video. So how to edit intro a uh, Blender intro template. So you go and edit. So you just guys have to wait. Then this important part. So you have to go to this end screen annotations. That's why there's the end screen. So you guys go here. I'm just gonna pause it so you guys don't have to hear anything. So I don't know. Let's go like around here, I believe. So let's just let it load. It might be kind of uh, slow for you guys when you first start this. But once you have the, you just have to add an element and you will have like a little icon right there that says import video or channel promotive and I already have some so I'm not gonna mess around with them. So this is just an example of how to do it and once you have it you just need to like replace it and put it like in the boxes. And once you're done you just click save and you're pretty good to go. So thank you all for watching have an amazing day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a big five time thumbs up. I bet. And if you guys want any tutorial, any suggestion, please let me know in the comment section down below. So thank you all for watching. I will see you on the next one, guys. Peace, see ya, and bye-bye.